I saw, man, Joseph Parker is hilarious, man. Whatever I said, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. He recently called out Dylan White. <laughs> Or Dilly in white. Got a picture of you beside me. Got your lipstick marks still on your coffee cup. Hey yo, what the fuck? Just tell me the song and I'll sing it. You'll be right and understand. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG NGM. Praise God, to get money. Back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir, man. Dr. Boxing Talk is in the building. Here, go get my bandit right here. I'm gonna go bandit. Sniff for something. Yeah, bandit sniff for something, man. It's a beautiful day out here, man. It looks like it's about to rain, so I gotta hurry up and make this video quickly. You know, I like to do it outside, you know, get some fresh air and stuff like that. It's early in the morning. But, um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> today I was laughing. I don't know how I managed to miss this or overlook it. I just caught it yesterday or late last night. You know, I stay up late and I saw it. And I saw, man, Joseph Parker is hilarious, man. And those of you unfamiliar with Joseph Parker, of course, you know, recently he's had a pretty good run. You know, he beat Deontay Wilder, who I feel like was a shell of himself. You know, no discredit to him. You know, he still handled business, but I think Deontay Wilder wasn't himself. And I think he should retire. Uh, but I think he'll potentially get hurt if he keeps fighting. But hey, that's not my decision. And um, but, but Joseph Parker uh, handled his business. And then we had him. We saw Joseph Parker most recently fight against Zayle Zhang. You know, Big Bang Zhang, man. And um, he uh, overcame two knockdowns. Damn! I'm sorry. On his way to a majority decision, man. So that was fire, man. Congrats to him. You know, I was very impressed with that. You know what I'm saying? Can't take nothing from Joseph Parker. Now, he's been doing very well since he um, joined with Andy Lee as his trainer, you know, uh, representative of a Kronk gym. You know, rest in peace, Emmanuel Stewart. Big salute. Uh, hold on, let me fix my camera. But yeah, so um, he he just recently called out Dylan White. <laughs> or Dilly and White, you know. Dilly and White's a uh, Jamaican born British man. Me blood clot. Jamaican born Brit, you know, um, out, 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 out of England. And, you know, he recently came off of a suspension. His, his suspension was just uh, relieved, um, I think, about a month ago uh, due to his. Um, his uh, he was he was he was caught he was suspended for um for, for a banned substance of course cocaine is a hell of a drug <laughs> so um yeah his, his his suspension has been uplifted and you know joseph parker suffered uh, one of his three losses came to dylan white um i say i think it was in 2018 they fought yeah 2018 they fought and um you know uh, joseph parker was dropped twice uh, i don't remember what rounds it was one early i think in the second round the other one I, I don't i don't remember like maybe the ninth or the seventh but then he dropped dylan white in the 12th round and Dylan White, you know, had to survive that round to win the fight. You know, I believe he ran by a uh, unanimous decision. But anyway, he called he called him out in the most unique way possible, man. He referenced a song by, uh, y'all y'all check it out. Check it out right here. I feel it's time. Got a picture of you beside me. What? Got your lipstick marks still on your coffee cup. Hey, yo, what the fuck? So he referenced the song, used a song um, by an uh, old school pop group uh, called Take That. Uh, man. <laughs> you know, I want you back, man. So he, wanted, he called out Dylan White in the most unique way possible. I love this for boxing. I love the creativity here. He didn't just do the do it the typical way. He, uh, you know, he had his own little flair, flavor to it. Now, um, some people are saying, "Ah, you don't need to fight Dylan White, man. That's that's too long ago." But I don't mind this because. Number one, you know, he's not getting that rematch with uh, Zayle Zhang like we, like most of us anticipated, right? Because it was a close fight. We thought he'll be fighting Zayle Zhang again. But instead, Zayle Zhang is fighting Deontay Wilder. Um, we know Alexander Usyk and uh, Tyson Fury are tied up um, with their undisputed uh, matchup that's coming up. And then, you know, they potentially will have a rematch clause uh, for the loser. So it could even, if, if, if the winner is different for the first two matches, then it could potentially have a trilogy. So they're tied up. And then I don't think anybody, he did lose to Anthony Joshua. He could avenge that loss. I guess Anthony Joshua, who's been hot right now, but I don't think anybody wants that fight, you know what I'm saying, particularly right now, you know, and, and we're mostly looking forward to Anthony Joshua trying to get a fight between, from from the winner of Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury, maybe interrupt their rematch, but I don't think that's going to happen, but um, I think Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker would be a bad one, but because everybody seems to be tied up, 
Um, I, I don't have a really have a problem with uh, Joseph Parker doing white him going to try to avenge his loss. Um, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think they have a pretty big build up, a decent build up. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. Joseph Parker versus Dylan White. I have Joseph Parker winning against Dylan White. You know, Dylan White coming off the uh, coming off suspension. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> um, and probably not in the best of his sh in the best shape he could be. You know, with his inactivity. But um, and, and Joseph Parker has been looking good. You know, he's, he's been on a little hot streak. So I think it's gonna take somebody. Uh, a little bit more skill than Dylan White to uh, to slow him down and cool him off. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Love y'all. Doctors out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.